Hopefully you can see it a bit better now. I know it's why the final few seconds before the lights I know go why, out. I know why I did And the it. race to the podium begins. Because it was fine earlier. So, yes, you can, Sid. Bottled it. Just going to change this a second. Do, do, do. That down below. Screw it. I'll do that again. I'll pick a different team this time as well. So, yeah, you can do like average and stuff like that. And the bottles. I'm loving the bottles, guys, in the chat. Loving it. So we'll do this again. My bad. My bad. I'll go with camp. I'm going to go with camp for this time. Actually, no, we'll stay with Windsor. have got to stay loyal to Windsor. Basically, Williams, theoretically. So we'll run on the low settings just for now. I'll skip this, because you guys have seen them already. So apologies there, chaps. I know why it happened. Oh, look at the look at the comparison, guys, of the graphics. Look at that. So this, I think, what they've told us is the um, recommendations for the game itself. I can't remember what the actual requirements are, but it is very. It can work basically on practically every PC, I believe, of modern PCs now. So we're in luck for anyone. So it may look a bit crap now, but I'm just gonna just leave it now, just to show you. Um, I'm on a 660 Ti graphics card, so that's probably an indication of my graphics card not being that great for the time being. But for now, it will do. And we've got rain in the air as well for, for the uh, practice session, which is going to be interesting. But yeah, you can just see the comparison right now. Uh, no self-promotion, please, Boris. But yeah, this is the standard low graphics setting, so I'm just going to show you graphics comparisons, uh, which I'm going to be doing for the for um, the episodes off. So. Just show you what it means. I know, but I mean, it's it's for basic for um, people to see if their PCs can hold it up. So I think the requirements are on their website. If you want to find that out, on the just check for the weather. It's gonna be it's gonna be wet for the whole session. That's not what I need. I think they don't really show you what the weather's like for the weekend. So you just gotta kind of guess how we go out with this. So we're gonna jump straight to uh, adding a lot of wing gear because it is a wet track right now. Just a little bit more of that. Tire pressure. Come on. Reduce on the camber. Gear ratios need to be up there and the suspension be up there. So once we've done that, go into stints. Yeah. I can't really do anything, I'm just showing you off. What you mean? So here at the minute we've got the stint set. This is the new bit that I quite like about this game right now, as we have the option here of getting some up, um, performances in qualifying trim and race trim. So you can either do a qualifying trim of one lap or race trim, which should four laps and stuff like that. And you can choose your tyre wear choice. Obviously at the minute it is raining and it is a bit damp, so I'm going to take this uh, the opponent onto the inters for the time being. And Gonna give him a bit of a race run, give him four laps, just to give us a bit of feeling for the car. So he's gonna go out in a second. And that is a I don't know how to turn that, that off, so we're gonna do the same for this guy. Olivier. Uh, he wants a little give him a bit of understeer. I don't know. Good bit of understeer. Stiffness suspension, we'll push into a lot of suspension. But yeah, I've got to say, I do love the setup screen here. Really like what I'm seeing. Uh, speed balance will drop down to 25%. Uh, the wings, obviously, I need to put a lot of wing on for this, for this track. So I'll put it in the middle somewhere. Stints again. We'll do the same again. Four laps. Stint on the intermediate tyres as the track gets a bit wet. And we'll take them out on there. So I do apologies for the graphics, but for some reason, the car, the game. Doesn't like my, my PC at the minute, so I know why it is, but I'll leave it on. I might bring it up to uh, I'm trying to now. medium graphic settings for next time. But just for now, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So off they go, my chaps of Olivier and uh, Ben Homan, as they are now onto the track. So as you can see in the strategy options, we've got two now modes. Now, I remember very nicely 
on the iOS version, they only had one style, uh, driving style of attack, push, neutral, conservative. Now you've got engine modes to think about, because obviously the cars have got a full tank, and you need to get them to the end of the race, of course. So you have the overtake option, which burns more fuel, and low, basically being slow on there. So we'll see how we go with that. Obviously, it does help in the race. Uh, I'm not having it up, Nick, for the sole basis of uh, promoting the game this week, so I won't have that up on there, so... So you can just see there, we've got a message there saying that we've reached the limit uh, on the straight, so we need to be thinking about that. So as you can see at the bottom here, the more laps they do, the more knowledge they learn of the setup. As you can see, it's currently low, so it's best, my advice would be, uh, when you get the game out uh, later this week, that when you're in a race, Make sure to focus on doing race runs here just to give them a bit of setup knowledge and make them improve on them. So at the minute, it's uh, not going too bad at the minute. Right, so the suspension is struggling with all these tight corners, so that's very important. And I'm going to show you what happens when they come back in the pit. So we're just going to do a little bit of a skip there as we go and follow Olivier right now. Olivera. So they're off the pace at the minute, but obviously it is getting a bit damp now, and the track is going to get wetter as we go along, but it's important now just to see how goes. So as you can see now, as more laps you do, you get these knowledge and locks things, which is very important just up here. As you can see, we've got level 1 for intermediate tyres and race trim as well that we've got, and you'll see later on what that will mean. But on the left, as you can see, all these tyre choices on there, and uh, Olivera likes the downforce that we've got, which is very important for us. One here, you can see Liverland now in sixth place. Obviously, I'm off the pace, but I'm doing race running, so that's probably why. And as you can see now, uh, we're up in the first sector. The track is now starting to get a bit damp for the drivers on track, so very important for us right about now. So, as we go past a few people there, and as you can see, should we run longer ratios? Very important there. So, this, you need to be really listening carefully to what they say when we go back into the pits we can change it. As you can see there, we're now up to level 2 on the race trim. Which is very important to have an intermediate as well, we're on to level 2. Now this just gives me the indication that it may rain for the race, uh, or in qualifying, so we've got to be thinking about the setup as we go along here. And it gives you a little information about anything locking up or retire, retire, retirees and whatnot. So I think they're going to be in their last lap now, so they're both going to be coming in this lap. And you can see there, we're filling up the bar very nicely at the minute, which is very important. And the track is still damp, but I think it's going to increase, but then it's going to die off. So we're going to take them out on a dry run in a minute and see how they go. But as you can see, a lot of people running the ultra softs and uh, mainly the soft tyres. So I'm thinking this is going to be like a sort of rusher track in terms of tyre wear. So very important that we need to keep an eye on the rest of the pack and see what they do in terms of their stints, especially... Um, the Mercedes style team here of Blanc, I think it is. I'm not too sure. Uh, it's very confusing. These um, obviously they can't have the teams do the licensing purposes, of course, but what can you do? I think both drivers are in the pits around. So, as you can see here with the feedback thing, which is a very nice feature to have, you can see what they want to know. So, it's very nice. So, we're going to send them out. But what, as you can see here, this is a nice feature that they've added in here the feedback stuff here, so you can see he likes the um, downforce, doesn't like the handling, and doesn't like the speed balance, so we need to be adjusting it somewhere a bit down for the uh, handling, so we're going to do that right now, so we'll bring that down slightly get it somewhere in the middle for uh, Lipanen we want longer gears, so we'll put it somewhere about there, so all, what I do is I do it in between the middle of the end bar here, and where the previous didn't was, and it's got to be somewhere in this recommendation. Downforce, I'm not. I'm going to leave for the time being, and I think we'll take him out now on a set of the soft tyre and make him do a race run. Do another race run for we'll do four laps and take him out. So off he pops. Now this guy, um, Oliveira, he loves his um, downforce, I believe. He loves the downforce, doesn't like the handling, and he's alright with the speed balance, so... <laughs> You're right, Alex. Good to see you, mate. So we'll drop him down just a little bit on the handling. Gear ratios will do the same thing as um, we 
had with the last guy. I'm not going to touch the um, and the wings because he absolutely loves the wings. Again, do another four lap stint. And on the tyres, we'll put him onto a set of the soft tyre and see how he gets on with them. On there. For some reason, the game likes it on high graphics for some reason, so I don't know why it put me on that when I really want to put it on medium. But anyway, it's just a little bit of show, guys. It's nothing really. Showing off the features and stuff like that. And then we'll see what we go next time round. So we've sent them out on the softs. It is drying up a bit, which is very important. So I'm going to play now with the um, engine start. So I'm going to go on to push. Uh, we're going to attack at. We're going to push actually for both drivers. We'll keep them on the uh, engine modes of medium for the time being. And uh, as you can see here, uh, Lippelin's very happy with the handling now, which is definitely what we want. Oh, there's been, don't know what's happened here. I think there's been a bit of contact with two cars. I don't know what's happening there, of course. And Oliveira agrees as well. He loves the handling of the car. Someone corner cut there. And I don't know why Lippelin just checked up there. I don't know what's going on here. No idea what is going on with that guy. I don't know what's going on here. This guy here is holding up Oliver um, uh, Lippelin. We've got Oliver now on the super softs. He likes the speed balance, which is definitely important. Yeah, Alex, I, I, I had the same thing. Oh, and Oliver has had to check up there. I don't know why this corner, they seem to be slow. I have no idea why. On there, so I may have to run medium, Alex. I think medium is the best option. Speed balance feels better, which is good. We've only got three and a bit minutes to go, so I may call them in here and bring, take them out onto a run on the uh, ultra soft tyre to make do a quality trim. But as you can see now, we've got purple now on race trim. What I'll do is I'll bring them both in now and see if we can get onto a quality stint. It does, look like, it does look like a Formula E track. It reminds me a bit of Long Beach, in a way. That little section there reminds me of Long Beach. Where they go around the water fountain, I find that quite cool. Okay, they love the setup then. Oliver is in the pits. Take him straight out onto the Ultra Softs and make him do a qualifying trim for one lap. And he loves everything. I'm not going to leave him on the set. He likes that. Narrow setup says fantastic. Liverland's in the pits. I think we're not going to get any time with him on the um, qualifying. We've only got a minute and a half to go, so I'm make him go out again, but back on the used soft, so we can just see how the setup, uh, the car tire wear degradation works around this track. And Levin comes back out. We'll focus on Oliveira because I want to see what his times are going to be on these ultra softs. Make him go on to a qualifying run. So make him burn, bring these tyres up to temperature. So yeah, apologies guys for the uh, graphics there, but it has lag. It does lag the game for some reason in high graphics for me. So I'll probably put, drop it down to medium or up to medium for the uh, career mode stream later. So I'll do some testing beforehand to make sure. So Oliver is on a run. He's held up by traffic, so this is going to be an interesting thing for traffic in this race. So the handling's good, they love what I've done, and again, been held up by traffic. So it's really annoying that, but I have no idea why I can't zoom in a bit more, but this is the closest you can get to the cars, and again we've been held up, and that's the end of practice, so a lot to take in there. Obviously we focused a lot on race trim, which is important, quality trim not a lot, but we had the weather, the wet weather at the start, and I kind of think I should have gone with the dry tyres. It wasn't that much um, wet, but the setup work I'm very happy with, and Oliveira has been held up again. It's a note to female driver. I now, I now know. I know now, chaps. Yeah, I thought it was a guy originally when I. Um, so we raced with this team, me and Arab used this team in the uh, build yesterday and I just thought we both thought it was a guy, so yes or no, now it's a woman, I know.
So we'll have a look at practice times then. Uh, I think we've got P6. Lippelen got P6. And that's interesting that on the Inters, surprisingly. So we didn't get any time on the Softs or Super Softs or Ultra Softs, which is a bit unfortunate, but we'll take that. But now we're going to be focusing now on the qualifying, and it is damp again for qualifying. So we'll have a look at the weather forecast. We'll have to take them out now. So now this is the really cool thing. So what you do in practice is you get the you build up uh, knowledge bonuses, as you saw with the race trim and uh, the performance. So we're going to use the softs and the inters on uh, Lebanon and on Anna. We'll use. Yeah, see, we've got these mechanics components, so we can't use them unfortunately on this one. But again, we'll do the same thing because it is going to get wet. We can maybe practice a bit in the race. We'll keep the balance the setup the same because they both like what they saw. And we'll jump straight into qualifying for this um, race at Cape Town. So if you've got any other tracks, guys, you want me to try out, uh, let me know. So we're into qualifying now, and I'm going to take them straight out on a set of the ultra soft tyre right now. So we'll take Oliveira out and also Lebanon. So we'll take them both out, get them out as early as possible while the track's damp. And we saw uh, in, in practice that these cars were actually quite good. So this is quite a nice little feature they've got here as well, is to warm the brakes of the tyre temps up. I like to tend to leave them until near the end and saves a bit of tyre wear as well that we can take into the race it's very important to have so it's not so bad as the cars are flying past me right now and it is a long lap as well we don't want to burn the tyres up as well so we'll start to increase them just a little bit not too much we'll just make them speed up just a little bit for the time being because they're not even around half the lap yet so we'll just burn them up now Bring that up a little bit. You can see the, tire, the brake temps are starting to warm up. The tyre is a bit down, but once we get to around about where 12 is, that's when we'll bring it up a little bit. So we'll just keep an eye on that. So now we're going to. They've actually nailed it in now. So here we go. This is their lap, their first flying lap. Tyres are not up to temperature, as I'm not going to lie. Hopefully, Liberland's going to get some slipstream here from our teammate. We'll have a look at the first sector. We're now in, up in the first sector. 19.8, not a bad start from, from us. But I really like the user interface. I really like what they've done with it, um, Neil. So I really do think they've done a very good job on it. And you can see we're 1.7 seconds up. And we're down a bit on Flores in the middle sector. Here's Lebanon, but let's see where Anna is. Uh, she's been held up by a bit of traffic here. And she's held up our team. She's held up Lebanon as well. That's not what I wanted. And, uh, and we are second and eighth. So Lebanon didn't really lose that much time there. So quite happy with that. Just speed them up. So we're going to take them back into the pits. Into the pits. Lebanon's dropped to fourth. The track is slowly getting wet for these cars. And we'll just have a look. Here. We need to be focusing on this water on track situation and see if it's going to drop even more, of course. They have. They've done a very good job of it, I have to say. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to send them both out now before the rain gets inten intensifies again. So we'll take uh, Lebanon out first, then take uh, Anna out on another set of Ultra Softs. So she doesn't, get, she doesn't get held up in traffic. It doesn't hold up Lebanon, actually. Um, is it possible to have a bankrupt for team controlled by AI? I'm not sure you can do that, I'm afraid, in a live turn. I don't think you can do that. I haven't came, I have not come to that part yet. But if I do, then obviously I'll let you guys know. Right now. I've completely forgot to do this. Burn them right up for Oliver. We'll get his tyres up to temperature. So I should really have done that. So here we go. Focus on Lebanon because he's our main guy in the team. He's basically our Valtteri Bottas of the team. So he's down in the first tank. I think he got held up in traffic, but the track, the track is getting wet. So I'm going to actually bring them both in just to save some tyre wear. I feel the track is too wet now for the Ultra Soft, so we may as well save them. 
now. So we've got Oliveira down in, in 15. Basically, Nick, I think he wants to know if you can, um, if a team, if an AI team can get bankrupt on this game. I don't think they can. So yeah, there's no point going out now. I, the track is too wet to, to do a time because it's going to get even worse. The dampness. So we'll leave it as it is, and I think that's going to be the end of the session for us. But they're telling me to go out again. I can't because it's too wet to set a time. These guys. Look at these guys. They're on ultra soft. Look at this guy. Look at this tire wear. 12% tire wear. I don't know what he's doing there, but if he wants to do that, feel fair play to him. But he's made a bad decision staying on those tires. Sorry, my English is too bad. I want to know if the new team can be joined the championship like this season of reality. I'm not, I'm not sure. I've not touched career mode yet, so I, you're, I'm in the same boat as you, as you. So we'll find that out in the, the episode later on tonight. It is inters, but we won't go quicker. This is going to be the grid, basically. We've only got 10 seconds left. And that will do. We've got to wait for another seven cars to cross land, but it's going to be P6 and P15, which is actually quite familiar to what I had yesterday. I have to say. So we've got Lemon in there. So we've just went. As Sharp's got pole position for Panther Racing, the Red Bull basically, the Aussie, which funny enough is basically that is Daniel Ricciardo on pole position on there, which is kind of cool. And we'll look at the grid. As you can see, we're P6 for Aki and Anna in 15th, Anna, Anna, however you want to pronounce it, in 15th place. So we just got caught up in traffic with both of them, I feel. Uh, the data in there will increase as you upgrade facilities. Yep, it's the same thing as the, um, on the iOS version. It's the same thing. On there, so we're going to go to the race now. Obviously, it looks a bit terrible. I've got to lie; I'm not going to lie. The graphics, but I just want to make the game run smoothly without crashing. So, for some reason, it lags in, on high on high graphics. But there may be a patch coming out on there. So, first and foremost, actually, we need to look at the weather, and you can see we've got a bit of rain later on in the race, of course. And we've got track grip. I've not seen that yet. Water on track's dry at the minute, but as you can see, there is a bit of dampness coming in at the minute. So we may think about stay out on the uh, on the ultra softs maybe it's gonna be interesting to see what tires they go on actually at the start but we're gonna focus on race trim for Aki and soft tire confirm that to him and the same again on there and we can maybe go for a mechanics component now this is a very important thing to have higher engine modes no longer impact conditions so we're gonna give Anna that as well and I don't think we'll get rid of soft tires we'll go on race trim so it gives us a bit of performance in the race for him, uh, for her, sorry. On the setup, we're gonna leave the same. Now, because Arna's down the grid, I'm gonna maybe change the strategy and make her go on to a different tire. I can do that. I'm not sure if I can do that. Can I change the tires? I can. We'll put her on a set of the soft tire, the super soft tire. So we'll do that. For uh, Anna and for Lebanon, give them a, basically a fresh set of ultra softs. Uh, so different strategies and we will set off then for the race obviously rain is coming in now I think lap 10 so I think Arnold's in a good spot here so you can see the grid and you can see we've got I think an all woman front row which is good we've got Wolfgang and Iker now there is a Sebastian Vettel style person in this game with a beard I have to say that I, I think there is so we're just going to try and find him where is it? we've got Jeremy Woodford Jay North we've got Nilo there he is, there's the Sebastian Vettel. Dieter Wexler. Oh no, there's Arna. Harry Chapman, Siri. There's a lot of women in this game, which is quite good. It's a mixed bag, I really like it. On there, so we're gonna head now to the race. The lights are on. For oh, this race in Cape Town, South Africa. It is green, and off we go. And we have got rain in the air, remember. It is coming in, as you can see, on the weather forecast. So we need to keep a very good close eye on that. So, for the time being, we're gonna push living in right now, gonna make up attack. Now he's gonna go down the inside maybe of uh, fifth place. Uh, that was I believe it was uh, Surikov or Schmidt. And he's actually up to fourth place, so it's a very good start from him, so we're gonna drop it down a push. Meanwhile Olivera, uh, she is down in 13th, so we're gonna try and get her to push a little bit. 
to need a bit more engine on there because she's got that engine performance upgrade that we saw as well. A lot of errors taken uh, for 12th place, so he's doing very well. Lebanon, by the way, is up to P3, so he's had a great start. He's in as uh, the line start lap number two. And uh, Oliveira let him get through. So what I'm going to try and do is maybe keep her out as long as possible and make her do the one stop. If I can, make Lebanon do a two stop. Try and build a, a big enough gap. So I'm going to try and make it push now again. Make an attack. Oliveira's down to 17, so I may have to play a bit safe here. So we'll make her attack, drop the engine down to medium. Not going well for one of them, but the other one's doing very well. He's on the podium at the minute. And he's actually hunting down the second place of Riberio, I think it is. So the two uh, Panther teams, uh, Panther drivers, are doing very well, I have to say. But one of them's being hunted down by myself. So I need to maybe think of a strategy for uh, Oliveira. It's uh, dropping down the pecking order, but they are on the soft tyre, I have to say as well, so I think now we're going to try and put the engine mode up to up, bring it down to push, and the tyres on Lebanon are very nice, he's just keeping on the weather, and actually thinking of, the rain is coming in now, so it's slowly going to come into the corner, now damp on track, so it's going to get a bit wet for all these drivers, and I'm going to try and maybe stay out with both of them, and just see how this goes uh, for us, but if you like what you see guys, make sure to slap a like on it for Motorsport Manager, and subscribe as I'm going to be doing more of these throughout the week but leading up to release on the, I think it's the 10th of November the game comes out for you guys on PC on Steam and see the track is getting really wet but we're up to P2 with Liban so for now, while it's wet, we're going to just bring it down to neutral and keep it on medium oh, we've got a dilemma now Aki wants to pit for Inters do we pit him for Inters? nah, we saw what we did, we're, we're just going to keep an eye we're going to keep an eye on what Sharp does. The Sharp's up the road, and if she pits, then I'm going to pit as well. So we need to keep a very close eye on what she does, because I actually am ready for when she goes into the pits, is the question. But, okay, it's now wet, so I think that is definitely now the call for Inters. I saw that change, so we're going to pit there. So this is the very important thing as well. We've got park conditions, so you can see what needs fixing, and so far, it looks all right. Pit strategy, you can go for a safe one. 40% risk, balanced, or we can try and do a fast pit stop. So we're going to do a fast pit stop for Lebanon. and see if we can get out ahead of, um, or get closer to Sharp. Um, with Oliveira, we're just going to keep her on the balanced. And is she on the inters? She is indeed, so we're going to make them both pit now as she's starting to struggle. Lebanon is in the pits as Sharp continues, actually. So the I wonder if Liblin's trolling me here. It is wet, the track, I believe. It's still going to get worse. So we may have called this a good pit stop for the boys as well. So we're down in sixth place, but we are on the right tyre at the minute, which is obviously a very important thing to have. We're going to bring the engine upgrades up. Uh, let's see if uh, Oliveira gets a good stop. Oh, it's a slow pit stop, is it? It's a good pit stop, down in 20th, but we are on the quick tyre. You can see Liblin's all over the back then of fifth place of Jenny North and we've got through and we're now up to fifth so we are now hunting down the rest of the pack now as they are going to be struggling now on these uh, on their dry tyres on their ultra soft tyres the track is wet as a, uh, it's like a lake now basically so both of them will go up to um, aggressive and just see how it goes on it is going to start deteriorating just a little bit we'll have a look is still wet, but as you can see, we're hunting these down so quickly. So we're basically going to be back to where we were. On as we go down the inside, up to third place we go, and it's a good start. This is this is a good pit stop stint by us, and it's still damp. But we'll see how these inters now work with sharp. So I think the AI are just a little bit OP. I think in these damp conditions, but as you can see, we're up to second now. There's first place of sharp need to keep a very close eye on how this is, these tyres. That's that, but as you can see, the, we're closing them in very slowly now. Oliveira's up to 18, which is very nice to see. Good job from her. The gap's 13 seconds to the race leader, and that's gone down to 12.6, so we are quicker as Ribera and Schmidt are in the pits. And what tyres are they going to go on? They're on the soft tyre, interestingly, interestingly, so... 
and the super soft tyre for one of them and Ribeiro on the soft so maybe it's time to pit I wonder I'm just keeping an eye on the times now of uh, living in shop I just want to just see if we're catching them up That's, her tyres are starting to go off I have to remember that she's going to keep an eye on shop when she pits is she going to go in or is she going to stay out she's staying out interestingly so now the hunted is now the hunters space I'm hunting her down Gonna be very close. Oliver is up to 12, which is fantastic. That's a good job from her considering should we stay out on inters? That's the question. I believe not, but there's a lot of mixed bag of weather going around. So it's interesting this is. This is gonna be interesting, this strategy by us. As we're now about 10 seconds to the race leader. So I think it's now time we go into the pits and go on some dry tires. We've got rain coming in as well. So maybe go on a set of ultra softs, I think, before the rain comes again. So again, we'll do another risky strategy with uh, Lebanon. And for Oliveira, I think I'll pit her on a set of the super softs. On there, so we'll do another fast pit stop for them. We'll drop this down now. And so we're running quite a lot of end. We're losing about 0.8 a lap off where we need to be. So I'll just bring these down for both of them push and we'll focus now as Sharp actually pits from the lead of the race and will pit as well. And is it a good stop for the boys? It is a very good stop. 3.5 very good from them and we are back on our merry ways again as we've dropped the P3 as North on you know, those super, super soft tyres not very good. So Sharp's on the super softs we're on the ultra soft so we're going to a bit of a different strategy than the race leader so it may work for us it may not work for us but this is a bit of fun for our first go, so we're guaranteed a podium with one of our drivers as Oliveira pits. That's a good stop there. 3.4, very good stop there from the boys. We'll drop to 17th place with Oliveira. So one's on the super softs, one is on the ultra softs, and we're just going to hunt down these drivers. Uh, mainly of Sharp, we're going to see if we can actually gain as much as possible. So we'll see if this works for us. But we'll see. We get on with this. So we've got 17 laps to go then on this race, of course. Very good straight line speed there. As Aki now up to 12th as North pitted on a set of the, I believe it's the Super Soft again. So we'll lower the engine. Still we're on engine mix for both drivers, I think. This one we definitely can go down. Yeah, but it's on medium. It's fine. So we'll focus on Lebanon for the time being. The gap is 11 seconds, but obviously we know Nort Sharp's on a on the durable tyre, but there is rain coming again in a minute, but I'm just going to see if we can get these to around about lap 16, these uh, ultra softs, and then go on a set of soft, super soft to the end of the race. So. But because we had the intermediates, we can maybe do another, in, another ultra soft stint with Lebanon here. Close the gap if we can, and then go on to ultra softs again, but here's the rain again. So a lot of rain mix. Go female massa. Yeah, female massa. Currently in 16th place. So give a bit of an attack now. I think she needs to push a bit more. Same with Lebanon. As long as we can get to lap 16, I can definitely maybe hold these, preserve these tyres, and push at the end. Right now, but if you're only around it, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. If you want to see more. Uh, content there. Uh, Crash Max, thanks for the subscription, mate. And also Rasmati and Mark Silver and Gary Pierce. Thank you all for subscribing. I do appreciate it on there. And if you do subscribe, guys, I'll give you a shout out in the stream. So it's, that's another important factor to have uh, for you guys there. Uh, but later tonight, if you have just joined us, we are going to be covering career mode. The first episode of that career mode, which is going to be basically a community style career mode you guys will decide with myself what is the best option for us in terms of upgrades or what areas we need to learn for the car itself so that's going to be around about eight o'clock tonight will be the first episode of career mode on there so we're going to be launching that i'm really looking forward to doing that i've seen a lot of good promising things from the game when i was there yesterday uh, okay that's important we need to down to five seconds actually on shops. So shops actually been held up by traffic. 
very interestingly, actually, I have to say. Oliveira, right on the back of someone for 12th place, I think it is. I think it's Holtz, who's really struggling on those super, on those super softs. We've got Libida now catching up to Sharp, I believe. Where is Sharp in all of this? She is just ahead of us, actually, behind this lap, ahead of this lap car in 20th right now. There's no real names because of licensing. 13 laps to go. Uh, no, uh, you've got to stay on them because we're on the Ultra Soft. So this might actually work for us here. Going on those um, Ultra Soft tyres right now. I think as the blue flags are being waved for 20th and it's not letting us go is Woodford. This is really going to hold. This is going to hinder us massively right now. Come on, let's through. Blue flags. I think that's smashing better right now, if I'm honest. So we'll drop that down. Bring Lebanon down. Bring it to neutral. So we've got 12 laps to go. What's the gap now? It's 18. That traffic's cost us 4 seconds from the lead. So that's definitely what I need. I've got you, Sid. I'm still learning this game. I've only played this on PC. Uh, will there be mods on Steam for correct team driver names? Uh, I have no idea, Hodkins. No idea. It would be nice. I'm not going to lie. It would be quite sick to have uh, mods on there. But we'll see. But we're going to pit Lebanon now for another set of Ultrasofts, if we can. Uh, that's fine. Put him on the risky strategy again. We'll keep Oliveira up for another lap. Let's see how we go. Oliveira on a set of softs in the pits. Oliveira's up to temps, so he's doing fantastic right now. But yeah, I think possibly that will be on the workshop. Well, I don't know if they have got the workshop, though, for this game. I'm not 100% sure. But well, I'll keep you guys informed. So we've got Sharp and myself in the pit lane. So she is now onto a set of the Super Soft tyre, interestingly enough. Very interesting there from the boys at Panther Racing. So we've got to preserve these tyres. Not a bad pit, bad pit stop though from our boy uh, team there. Not happy with that. Uh, what? Who's the idiot that made a mistake with the tyres? He needs firing. That's quite funny. I have to say, very funny. Uh, indeed. So Oliveira's into ninth. So I'm very happy with Oliveira at the minute. Don't think she'll get the tyres to the end though. So I may hit her now for a set of ultra soft. So I think she'll definitely get to the end on those tyres. On those tyres. Just need to keep an eye on the Liberdance tyres. So no uh, shops on the... Oh, look who it is again, it's Woodford. Blue flag, please. Come on, blue flag. Thank you. That was a bit easy peasy. Now we need to be very careful now. Engine mode still dropping, which is good. Very happy with that. Got to keep them on this uh, engine mode for the time being. Right now, so that's very important. So we're hunting them down, gap 16 seconds, so that traffic's hold has held up massively for us, so I'm not happy with that. So basically we had a Daniel Ricciardo pit stop. Ricciardo pit stop 2.0. Oh no. uh, how does recruiting work? I'm actually going to show you guys that later on tonight, uh, the career mode. So if you want to see that, uh, I'm going to be going through all the recruiting stuff and and that, as Nick has very kindly provided in the chat, uh, I'm going to be streaming the career mode tonight, the launch of our career mode series, which you guys will have your, your say in as well, as we set the fastest lap of the race. And the gap's down to 14 seconds, so we've got nine laps to go, and we're going to try and preserve these tyres if we can. I want to try and preserve them to the end. I'm just going to hopefully pray we get to the end of this one. Oliveira could get into the points, hoping. She's catching Bedell, who's on the soft tyre. Yeah, I just want to thank you guys for the support. On, uh, I've seen some very nice views from you guys, so thank you. Uh, I can have a look for you, Hodkins, if you want, and I can let you know later on tonight if there is a Steam Workshop. So actually, have a we're playing ping pong or racing. Mini SG. It's like playing ping pong here. Just keeping an eye on tyres. So what I might do now, we could play it safe and go... Actually no, we're keeping on that for the time. We'll just increase it just a little bit. And Oliveira's always made a little bit of contact there and that's going to cost us. Go to 12. Go on Oliveira. Go on, around the outside. Oh, he's off position. That's annoying. 
We've got seven laps to go. Right now we need to bring this down. Put him onto conservative. I think we'll cement second place now for Oliveira for Lebanon right now. Just to get his tyres to the end a bit more, save a bit of tyre wear. We'll focus on Oliveira, I think, for the time being. She's doing a pretty good job, considering where she was before the start. She's in 13th place, we've got a, an indication there. I don't know what that is, I'm not 100 sure. But he's got damage. Oh, that's interesting. For Flores. Let's see if we can get a top 10 for um, Anna here. Come on, you can do it, love. Push her, because she's got better tyre wear than Lebanon has. 8.6 seconds is the gap to the lead right now. So we've got five laps to go at the line. So it's going to be a bit close. So bring that down, of course. Uh, no, it's not Monaco. Monaco's not in the game, unfortunately. But there is quite a lot of tracks. And there's all different layouts as well, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But this is the first of two streams we're going to be doing of Motorsport Manager today. Uh, the first one, obviously, is this. And then later on will be the career mode, which is very exciting because I am looking forward to it. Oh, we've got some good brakes here. Let's have a look. Brakes, 46%. Oh, that seems fine. Uh, can we go back? I have no idea how to get out of this, but I don't think we need to pit. Just I don't know what to do with here. Uh, damn wing, okay. Front wing needs changing. Let's do that. There we go. I got out of that, so I don't want her to pit, honestly. I feel I'm doing alright. Lillian's doing a fantastic job, I've got to say, of preserving these tyres. About 28%. I just want Oliveira to get up the top 10. Go on, she's up to 12 at the minute, she's fighting for a point. She's got someone behind him in 13. Sarian, I think it is. Oh, someone's made a bit of a mistake there. It's Vidal. Holtz is up to 10. We've just gone on the outside, I think. Oh, Olivia, what a move, love. Well done. Felipe Massa's uh, woman clone is doing very well, I have to say. Uh, I'm starting tier 3, of course. Uh, we'll ignore that. No, we're staying out, bring on two laps to go, no point in pitting. Got a 26 second gap, so we can cruise with Lebanon to the end of the race, I feel. So we'll drop, yeah, we're backing him up now. We'll keep him to the end of the race. No, we're not pitting. Oh! Got a retiree, I think. Rear brakes have gone. So that's a bit of a shame for Oliveira. Now we're just spotted now. We're on the final lap. Liverland's going to be fine on the final, so we'll bring that up to serve. On there. But after this, guys, we're going to um, stop. Um, we have a little break uh, for later on tonight. Liverland's done very well. We've had to back off just because of tyres perspectives, but we nearly got the strategy right with Lebanon, I've got to say. And Oliveira will come home in 17. Bit disappointing with the, with the break damage we had, but Lebanon coming home in second place. Brilliant drive. Lebanon very happy with that. So, while well, our drivers did well, but the other one did a bit crap, so. <laughs> oh, Andreas. I'm glad you're there. So. Sharp wins the race for Panther Racing Team, otherwise known as Red Bull, and she's actually got damage as well, which is interesting. Um, so, hope you enjoyed that little race weekend, guys, of the uh, first look at P uh, Motorsport Manager. I will be back later tonight for, uh, this is quite nice as well, showing you the tyre strategies from each driver on there. So, we made the mistake of going on the intermediates, I think, with Lebanon, I feel. We could have maybe stayed out. Oh, well on there so you can just see the tire selections of the team I think we could do that in career mode I'm not 100% sure at the end but we lost out by 26 seconds to shop so we kind of should have gone on the softs really I think because I think they could have gone a bit well but oh well 
We'll take it on the chin. So you can see nice little features here on the user interface of what tracker is and tires. It's all very nice on there. So I'm going to leave it there, guys, for you. So I want to thank everyone for coming out for this little sneak peek of a race weekend for Motorsport Manager. But make sure to be back later tonight where I'm going to be doing the first episode of Career Mode of Motorsport Manager. And it's going to be good. I'm ho it's going to, From what I've seen so far, it looks pretty good. And I want to let you guys to let me know in the comments what you think about Motorsport Manager from what you've seen so far. I will be back later this evening at 8pm, as I've mentioned, for the launch of the Career Mode of Motorsport Manager, which I'm really looking forward to doing as well. So if you want to see that, guys, and don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe right now on this channel if you want to see more Motorsport Manager on there. And tomorrow, as well, we're going to be focusing on the challenges. I'm going to have a look at the challenge modes as well, and I'm going to probably do another single race as well for you guys if you missed out on there. So I want to thank you guys for that, and I'll see you guys later on tonight for the career mode side of things for Motorsport Manager. I want to thank you guys, and make sure to like and subscribe as well. And until then, have a great afternoon, guys, and enjoy your day. I'll see you guys later on tonight for the career mode. Take care. See you there.